Uh, what does Costa Rica have for an army? You know, I don't know. I, I haven't studied Costa Rica. Okay, well, I just, yeah, they're just a fun little example. They don't have one, right? Uh, but who's, you know, so the logical conclusion of most uh, most imperialists is, well, they'd be taken over, right? Any nation that doesn't have an army would be taken over immediately. Uh, but that doesn't happen unless, it usually doesn't happen unless there's a, a, an aggression, right? Now, in in feudal times, the uh, the reason for conquest was you would actually get you would get the wealth of whoever you were conquering right and so when they, when they would conquer a different feudal lordship or whatever they wouldn't blow up the they wouldn't burn the fields and kill the peasants and stuff like that because that was the wealth that they were trying to capture um, and so there was a an economic ex- incentive for war in that way now with the advent of total war under democracy of course we don't do that what was the economic incentive to take Dresden after it was firebombed, right? Nothing. The, the value had been reduced to zero. And so so war has become an entirely political um, entity with the advent of democracy. And so uh, unless there's a political reason for for a nation to go to war, they, they generally don't do it because economically you can make more money trading, as the Chinese have shown. They made far more money trading with people in the Middle East than going to war with them. Hey. Can I throw a couple interjections in there real quick? Uh, John, who who is the military? John, you still there? Um, you know, I, what, I have a, I all, have a, If I, you go out there and look at the military walking around this town, who are they? Well, citizens, really. But where do they get their equipment? From the citizens' money. Where do they get the citizen private enterprise makes their equipment, and they get the money from... Uh, the citizens at large. So where is your army going to go? Nowhere. It doesn't Switzerland basically have a citizen army where everybody is armed at home? Absolutely. And it's funded by the people and produ- uh, the production is done by the people, just like it is here, only without the mailed glove behind it. So basically you're, you guys are almost advocating a return to what we had here in uh, America before there was a standing army. Even actually at the time of the Civil War, we still were uh, fundamentally that way. Of course, with an army like that, you can't project power outside of your borders. Oh, that's true. You oh. can't have the Teddy Roosevelt you can't uh, spread democracy. walk softly and carry a big stick. You can't have that. Uh, but you can You can be the only country in Western Europe to prevent Germany from invading you. Wait. Well, so, nope. you know, I'm, I'm, just, nope. I'm <laughs> just trying to understand, you know, I mean. Oh, yeah, no, no, totally, no. Uh, there's actually, there's a lot of there's a lot of writings about that. The uh, the Tanhills, Morris and Linda Tanhill, have a have a book they wrote about that. Um, uh, that's, that'd be worth looking up. Um, uh, Hans Hermann Hoppe has an essay, the, the Myth of National Defense, where he asks the question, what is national defense? How is, pro- how is it provided? How would it be provided in the absence of a state? Um, you know, what are the economic incentives uh, and all, all of these sort of things. Isn't Switzerland, well, I mean, that's well, a living example. Yeah, essentially, yeah. Yeah, a lot of a lot of folks have called up and looked for re- free resources, you know, whether it be anti-federalist papers or what have you. You know, again, let me just pitch the free, free-range patriots out there. I'd also like to set up a group that discusses this, you know, stateless idea, you know, out there. And also, Steve, we're connected on Facebook. If you could send me what it takes to sponsor your show so I don't, like, uh, get cheap ads by calling into your show. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, we yeah. love Patriots. We love uh, Free Range Patriots. Everyone should go to that. FreeRangePatriots.com. they got all the info a guy needs for days and months and, John, and years. John, John I'll, 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 message you, I'll message you my cell phone as soon as I get off the air. Right on, yeah. So you know, you I'd know, like to have that out there. I think today's show has definitely proved that you should stop reading. Yeah, yeah no, exactly. Now, John, all these, John, all uh, these our, dangerous ideas are spreading, Dave. Our, but it's uh, your fault. Well, no, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> our, our meetings we have on uh, Wednesdays, our uh, Austrian Scholars Group, usually, well, it's about fifty-fifty. Half the time we discuss economics, and and the other half the time we discuss kind of stateless law and and the origins of law and and things like that. So our you're more than welcome to come to those. Uh, anybody who wants to know when they are, just Google uh, Campaign for Liberty Fairbanks, and you'll find the Campaign for Liberty site, uh, which has our meeting dates and what we're reading. We're reading Herbert Spencer's Man Against the State for our next meeting in two weeks. So Someday I'd like to get on or have the show revolve around uh, the fact that law, political law especially, and economics are actually one and the same and joined at the hip. 
And if anybody wants to understand economics, they really should have to understand political law first. Yeah, there's a high degree of overlap, definitely. All right, thanks, John. Look for my uh, my Facebook message here as soon as I get off the air, okay? Yes, sir. Four five eight talk is the number. Good morning, caller. You're next on Patriots Lament. Who's this? This is Charles. Charles, what's on your mind today? Luther Martin is one of my favorite anti-federalists. Uh, he's a lawyer. Uh, defended people like uh, Aaron Burr and James Wilkinson, I believe. Anyway, um, the word uh, for government is expedient, and that's what I see as a reason people accept government control because they can do it quicker or something, or it used to be that way. It sure isn't that way now, but expedience is one of the reasons that uh, we got what we have. Believe. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. Yeah, like su- suppression of the Whiskey Rebellion and and uh, John Brown at Harper's Ferry. Right. Yep. All right. Uh, Josh, anything else you want to say on uh, Osama bin Laden? I was going to say it's, it's just laziness is where we got where we are. Yeah. Is it is it just laziness or, or I mean it has yeah apathy. Give it to the state, then we don't have to think about it. We don't have to worry about it. Yeah. That's... Let the state do it all. You know, I, I think though some of it has been a um, there there have been people, and especially and I and I and I and I weigh this very carefully in how to say this, but I think that there has been a concerted effort among do-gooders to try to get the government to do things that people really can't do for themselves, or or really can only do for themselves and can't do for somebody else. I guess it's about the best way. For instance, you can't make somebody stop drinking. All right. It has to be that person who decides, I'm not going to be a drunk. And yet, you look at prohibition, you look at a, a lot of the temperance movement, the stuff that began after the, and concurrent with the Civil War, actually. There are these do-gooders that were trying to use the heavy hand of government to, to force moral change on people. Am, am, I, am I barking up the wrong tree with that, or is that somehow connected to part of the root of the problem here? No, I think we covered that in the very beginning. We said, look at how full our guilds are. And can't stop. I mean, the laws have done what? Nothing. It's just all that's done is created wealth for the state. And and most of those laws that you're talking about, these are not criminal issues. These are not people going and robbing and stealing and hurting somebody. These are these are laws against drug use, right? That's what that's why most people are behind bars, right? And driving without a license. Unfortunately, sometimes it comes down to the way they can conscure it. Look at the newspaper, the Anchorage Daily News, and the News Miner. Both those, their evidence that they presented did keep Coleman Barney in jail. Um, I went down the list and didn't see anything on there illegal. A 30 caliber machine gun, not fully automatic. Scary. It was a scary gun. It was. That, that's, that is I'm enough. I'm scared. No, it's enough reason right there to lock somebody up if you have a scary gun. Absolutely. A bunch of dummy <laughs> grenades. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 458 four, Talk is the number. Good morning, caller. Welcome to Patriots Lament. Who's this? Hello, this is Cecily. Cecily, what's on your mind today? Oh, I was just saying it's a matter of... Um, the manners, people are just, you know, they figure if you wouldn't do this to some, have this done to you, then how can you do it to another? And, and those people that take up jobs that, that they wouldn't have people perform on them. Or, anyways, just like Gestapo and Nazi coming down your road and and, uh, and ignoring all the signs of private property, it's, it's just bad manners. And, and uh, I don't understand why pe- people don't understand their... Even their jobs would, would uh, you know, violate the, uh, the regular just mutual respect for, for people. Yeah, the golden rule, right? Do unto others as you would have them do unto yeah, you. Yeah, and so I, 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 and also, um, people that have been abused, you know, they need to, to uh, express their uh, anger about it, and so they take jobs that abuse other people. Just kind of how it keeps going down Talk- the line. Thomas Jefferson made a comment about that. He said, why is it that the rules that we all are bound under individually, we feel that don't apply to us when we're in a mob? Exactly. Yeah. All right. So, and I say every day they take away another state, which way you decide how you ride the tide. You must abide their rules, use their tools, be their fools. Take my liberty. I'm whack. I don't fight back. I'd rather do some dreaming, dreaming, dream, taking dope in season. It sounds and like a song. You, so they're all lazy. Do you want to come on the show? or? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot more to it. Anyway, God bless, and I hope everybody uh, 
uh, minds their manners. <laughs> hey, exactly. Thanks, Cecily. Appreciate the call. 458-TALK is. is the number, and that person didn't hold. Josh, we are at the end of the show here. Cl- uh, closing comments from uh, your end. Uh, no, I'll just leave it to those guys it's a little bit. Uh-huh. On the well, you need to because Dave's not allowed to talk. He <laughs> read <a book> yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you're too young, Dave. Yeah. Well, I appreciate people calling. I just hope people, I mean, our goal here is to get people to think. No, I, and uh, I think we've been doing that to some extent. But start yeah, thinking for and even if you Even if you don't agree, and especially if you don't agree, read about it. Yep. Aren't you still in, are you in your 30s still, Josh? You're 40 now. No, I'm still in the 30s. Well, you're an idiot too, then. No. I know. Am I the only I'm grown up here? Yep. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. No. Apparently. Yep, you have to you're sign a waiver gramps. for us to be on. Oh, oh, you're calling me Gramps. All right. Well, gentlemen, I appreciate this. Is there a contact if folks, uh, if you want folks to be able to email you if you, they, you had a question about something we said today, or should I just give the station email? Uh, well, we got uh, bighorn.alaska at gmail.com, or you guys, anyone can go on the blog it's uh patriotfilment.blogspot.com they can leave comments and questions there people can get a hold of me through far north tactical if you leave any comments there we also have a um uh what do you call those a forum on there too and of course there's always facebook the whole world does facebook me no exception i don't well, you live through your wife on that one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're out of time. We'll see you next week on Patriots Lament. The interior, 660 AM, KFAR, Fairbanks.